new from Eureka Classics is She Shoots Straight, which is a 1990 action film, Hong Kong movie. And I was expecting something along the lines of, say, the Yes Madam series, where it was like fantastic action, just continuing after each other. A little bit of downplay, getting to more of these action sequences that were just going to blow me away with how fantastic and kinetic and energised they were. And to a certain extent, you do get that. Corey Yoon directing knows how to put an action sequence together, and he does so whenever the time is called for. But he also understands how to keep the story beats going, how to keep that dramatic tension within the film. <laughs> and I really appreciated that because it let me buy into the characters, enjoy them a lot more, follow them on the journey and be genuinely worried about them in certain situations. At the heart of this one, we have Mina Kao, who is marrying into a family dynasty of police officers, where everyone seems to have been an officer at some point. All um, of her husband's siblings are in the police force, her father's in the police force. They kind of live and breathe this career. And she is, is moving into that, marrying her husband, focusing on her career, trying to push through the ranks. Of course, there needs to be some kind of antagonistic nature within the film. And we have that in one of my favourite villains, Yun Wa, a guy who is always terrific whenever he turns up here. He is the head of a Vietnamese gang who has come into Hong Kong uh, to rip off as many places as they can, get some vengeance and boot out of there as quickly as they can. <laughs> Unfortunately, on one of their first adventures, uh, joints, robberies, adventures, pff, they come stumble across uh, Mina and uh, some of their relatives and a kind of battle between these two families almost go ahead. The fraternity of police force uh, characters and the fraternity of criminals who are going to butt heads and people will die. There is a real weight to this film. Now I love um, the sort of family dynamics here. When you see them in several situations you have people butting heads, they don't always see eye to eye, they have misgivings about each other but at the end of the day they're a family. They're going to reunite at some point. They're going to battle uh, the odds and fight back against this criminal gang. <laughs> But they do have these natures about themselves. They, they do have these ways of constantly niggling at each other, pushing each other buttons, and feeling as though the family's changing, which it is in one way or another because we're getting new additions into it. And when a character dies midway through the film, there feels as if there's a real weight to it. And they have to uh, sort of attend a, a family function after this there's a celebration and not let everybody know about this uh, deceased member of their family uh, and watching some of these characters trying to cope with this stress, trying not to really ruin this event for someone is really interesting uh, and the, it's the galvanising of the family after that that really kind of won me around. I, I did enjoy the dramatic elements within this film, although they lean a little bit too comedy now and again, there is still a grand weight there. Fucking more young, you see, fat, 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 the good of a chung, learn. Yun Wa, as the head of the Vietnamese gang, is brilliant. He's lethal. He feels as if he's a man who has no line in the sand. He's gone as far as he will, and he will do anything if it means that he can continue what his mission is and his sister, how they kind of work together, who is a brilliant villain in this one. And they, there's some great sort of action finale at the end where these characters are all kind of butt heads and do the usual kind of action-y stuff. <laughs> But when the action does come, it is 
ferocious, it's kinetic, it's varied, it's different, it's wonderful. There is a crescendo of action sequences at the end of this one that just culminate in smell-inducing action non-stop fun times. I, I just loved it. You get Sammo Hung who appears in this one sporadically throughout it. He doesn't get in many action sequences. He's there kind of just to bolster the cast, give a little bit of name presence throughout it as well as being married to one of the main characters here. <laughs> But yeah, She Shoots Straight was terrific. Exemplary action, some great performances, a little bit of heart and emotion mixed in with this one as well. And it's all wrapped up in 87 fun-packed, entertaining minutes. I really enjoyed this one. I would love to know your thoughts on this, but first, let's dive into the disc and have a look at some of the extras. So here we are in the disc for She Shoots Straight. We have the original Cantonese mono audio. We have the dubbed surround sound audio. There is a commentary by Frank Jeng and a second commentary by Mike Leader and Arne Venema. For the special features, we have filmmaker Valerie So on She Shoots Straight, which is 7 minutes 19. Uh, she talks a little bit uh, about the, the sort of aspect of family drama within the film, how it's a little bit different from other guns. Uh, girls with guns movies and because of that dramatic aspect it gave a little bit more punch to the action sequences shooting locations is 12 minutes 19 again this is a, another fun location shoot we've had these before on some of the eureka discs they actually make them entertaining they seem uh, knowledgeable and passionate about talking about these uh, certain uh, areas and it comes across it's very entertaining we have the English opening and closing credits for a uh, Lethal Lady, as this was otherwise known, and as the reverse cover on the Blu-ray, and this is 2 minutes 24 seconds. Finally, we have the theatrical trailer, which is 2 minutes 38 seconds. Also in this release, there is a 20-page booklet with an essay by James Oliver, talking about the film, why Sammo Hung was kind of behind the production, pushing for the actresses, and some other tidbits that are really interesting as well. That's the extras for She Shoots Straight. So there we have it. She Shoots Straight is something that I would thoroughly recommend. I think it's particularly entertaining. I think it's got some great action. And I feel as if it has actually some depth within the storytelling as well, which I really appreciate. I would love to know your thoughts on this one. So let me know in the comment box below whether you love it, hate it, find it kind of average. I want to know your opinion. I want others to see it as well. So drop it in the comment box below. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. And in the description box below are links to the Patreon, membership program, and manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.